hi, this is Joelle of From Scratch Farmstead and today we are going to be making Bee Park Burgers. love to add organ meats into our food as much as we can. So if you're getting a quarter of beef or a half a beef from a farm, you'll get to choose all the different cuts of meat that you get. And so they'll ask you if you want those organ meats, say yes. The organ meats are the most nutrient dense part of the animal. Um, they're so rich in vitamins and minerals and a lot of things that can be really, really hard to get from food. They're the most present in animal organs over any other vegetable, fruit, meat, any other thing. There's so many things that organ meats are so, so high in. So we highly recommend getting them into your diet as much as we can. However, today, this day and age, most people don't just eat liver and onions like they used to. That used to be so common and we've kind of lost taste for that. And so organ meats definitely have a bit of an acquired taste that most people today don't love. And so I like to sneak my organ meats in wherever I can. And so that's what we're gonna be doing in these beef heart burgers. Um, and to do that, I'm gonna first puree my heart in a blender. Um, if you don't have, this is a high powered Vitamix. If you don't have a high powered blender, a food processor would also work really well. You just need something that is going to blend your organ meat into a puree. Um, and so you're gonna puree your heart. I like to do about a two to one ratio of organ meat to beef. So this um, beef part is about two pounds, and so I have four pounds of ground beef here. So I'm gonna puree this, add it to my meat, um, and then just add your spices um, that you like to add. So there's no magic formula to this. I'm gonna add a little Worcestershire sauce, uh, garlic powder, salt, and onion powder. And you can click on the link below in the description to read the full recipe on our blog. Um, and then I also like to add eggs to my burgers just to bind everything together really well. So I'll add, I like to do about one egg per every pound, pound and a half of um, meat. And so I'm gonna add four eggs to this recipe. So you can feel free to change this one to what you have if you don't have heart, but you want to do liver instead, add liver or some other organ meat. Um, just blend it up and mix it in. And the beauty of this is that no one tastes the difference. It just tastes like a really yummy, delicious burger. All right, so then once everything is mixed up, we're gonna form it into burger patties, fry it up on our cast iron pan, and you are ready to go with your beef heart burgers. So we are back and we finished making our burgers. So this is one we love to batch cook. Um, I cooked about six pounds of meat. I made roughly 30 burgers. So I'll keep a few aside to have in the next day or two. The rest of them I freeze like this and then store just in gallon sized bags in the freezer for really quick and easy meals for really nutrient dense, healthy, quick meals in the future. So these are our beef heart burgers. We hope you enjoy them as much as we do and we'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by the farmstead.